Hi guys, this is Khoram Nawaz and in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform port forwarding on your ASA firewall using manual NAT, <clears throat> also known as twice NAT. In our previous videos we have performed the same task using auto NAT. Um, in this example I'm going to use Telnet as a service so that users from outside world can gain access to inside resources. Uh, there are a few differences in uh, between manual and auto net. Uh, so auto net only allows you to translate source address, but uh, with manual net, we can translate both source and destination. Uh, manual net is more flexible as compared to auto net. So in auto net, net rules are automatically ordered, but in uh, manual net uh, rules are manually ordered so you have to define uh, uh, where you want to uh, put this rule in place in order one two three uh, in real world auto net pretty much like I have seen people using auto net uh, instead of manual net a lot uh, but you, you would definitely require a manual net if you're uh, configuring side-to-side -side VPN or or uh, you know SSL VPN <clears throat> so let's get started so first of all uh, <clears throat> we are going to create a few address objects uh, before I go ahead and let me explain you uh, the diagram so 10.0.0.10 is our inside router 172.30.0.10 is our DMZ web server and let's assume that this is our uh, outside network outside world uh, so the whole idea is to tell net 10.0.0.10 uh, from outside router um, on IP address 2.2.2.236 .2 .2 uh, using port uh, 1900 uh, so it translate on uh, so it untranslate to inside server which is 10.0.0.10 let's get started so that's my ASA firewall object network inside and let's go 10.0.0.10 hold 10.0.0.10 object network um, global underscore 2.2.2.235 2.2.2.235 .2 .2 .2 sorry2.2.2.236 and let's create a service object as well so object service space um, tcp underscore 23 service tcp source 23 equal 23 and uh, uh, let's create another service object where we are going to map port 23 on object service space tcp underscore 1900 service um, tcp source equal 1900 pretty straightforward uh, so manual that uh, we basically uh, do the configuration under global configuration mod uh, whereas auto net configuration is done under uh, uh, network object so <clears throat> since we are configuring manual net we are going to do it under global mod configuration um, so let's see how we can do that net inside outside pretty straightforward um, <clears throat> source static all right um, the source address which is inside underscore 10.0.0.10 and, and map it to global underscore 2.2.2.236 service um, so we are going to the source service the real service will be uh, TCP underscore 23 and uh, the map service we are going to map it on TCP underscore 1900 hit enter um, so the only thing we need to do is uh, to create the ACL now 
access list from outside in uh, extended permit TCP any host 10.0.0.10 um, um, equal telnet and uh, now call it in the access group from underscore outside underscore in in interface outside okay um, so let's give it a shot now all right so I'm on my outside router on this router and I'm going to tell it on 2.2.2.236 port number 1900 and it should untranslate to uh, inside router and it will tell that 2.2.2.236 port 1900 hit enter password is Cisco enter all right show x -late. enter all right so as you can see um, that <clears throat> uh, it mapped uh, port 23 to the outside on port 1900 um, show NAT on translate hit 1 All right. Uh, while I'm here I'm going to show you really quick um, the hit counts on the access rule show access list Enter and hit count one. Thank you very much for watching this video.